My mistress used to say, you know, uh, uh, that horses were, were trained. They just uh, teach us the way they like to be ridden. You can train a horse out of fear, any animal actually, out of anything you want. You can train him with love, you can train him with fear, you can train him with all the nuances be between those. And you can um, train them by pain, uh, you can train them all sorts of ways. If you have a good relation with your horse, everything is going to be easy. With an animal, you just one for all decide who you are, and that's who you are. You don't need to come every day and enforce the, the rule. They will, they will, you know, if you're consistent into what you're doing, they will not challenge you. They will say, well, you come in and you do this and you do that, and we get lunch and we work in hand and, and we have a happy relationship. They are not going to challenge you. They are, they are not going to be. Uh, you are not going to be obliged to repeat every day what you have to say. Um, they, they, they have the, if you have an understanding with them, they will, they will know your language and if you talk the same language every day, they will follow with the program with no problem. They will not uh, challenge you in any way. But that needs to be strong and you need to be strong into yourself. It's true that, 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 that if one day you, you, you come in and you don't feel up to the level of all those stallions, well, you're going to take it easy that day for yourself. You're you are going to know your own limit. You're not going to push it that day because you are not in a space that you can push it. And they will know. They, they will know. They, they, you know, every day you, you have to come and, and, uh, and, 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 and be uh, who you are and do as good as you can do that day. They don't remember that, you know, the, the, that yesterday you were Mr. Great Trainer that could do great things. Every day you have to be the great person that can do great things or they, they don't know you. Huh? It is that simple. I think it is that simple because um, you could see I, uh, I, uh, <coughs> I travel uh, a, 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 a lot and I, and I deal with a lot of horses and generally the, the horses they bring me is horses with problems and, and you can establish that kind of relationship very very fast it's beyond time and space if I can say that you can come and set up the, the rule and say here that's what I am you are here we have such and such problem I'm going to here to help you very important I'm here to help you not to train you I'm here to help you. I'm here to figure out what's wrong, what's, why you are so uncomfortable mentally or um, physically, and I'm here to help you. And if you have that attitude, that's wonderful. They are going to say, hey, that's a great deal here. I am doing this, I'm doing that, and then after that, the person is happy, he is happy, he leaves me alone. I can go back to my stall, have a great time, and then the next day they do the same thing. In the animal world, the person who doubt is the loser, <laughs> is the dead one. Eh? Uh, the, the reason why the young stallion win over the old stallion is because he doesn't know he, he can lose the fight. He's strong, he's wonderful, and he's ready to challenge the old stallion for the mares, and, uh, and he doesn't know what defeat is, he doesn't know what a fight is, therefore he has nothing to lose, he doesn't know what it is to just go and be a loser. The old stallion has been there for a certain <laughs> number of years. He has been challenged. He had to win. That's why he is a top stallion. But he knows in the back of his mind and sometimes he doesn't feel up to what he used to be. For right there, there's a little doubt. And the little doubt is the trouble. That's what he's going to lose. Therefore, for us, um, we cannot afford to doubt. What does that mean? We cannot be there and pretend we know everything because that doesn't work either, okay? But what we, what we can do is know who we are and know what we want to do simply. For example, if I go into the, the stall and don't talk to that horse before he's in that position, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. I am not going to deal with that horse before he's in that position. Well, you come in with a little whip and you bang the wall and you put him there and when he's there you say, good boy, and say, I'm not going to talk to you before you are there. Everybody can do that. Uh, everybody with practice can launch the horses. Everybody with practice can work them in hand. It's a little difficult at the beginning, the coordination, but everybody can do it. And everybody can walk the horse, and everybody can trot the horse, and everybody can canter the horse. Uh, you can pretend that the first day you are going to passage in Piaf because it's not going to work. But you can expect one time to learn if you progressively go through the launching, the work in hand, your shoulder in, your haunches in, your pirouette, in a matter of Months you are going to be able to, to, to do it. Uh, what you can't do is say, oh my God, I'm going to open the door and is he going to get into his corner today? 
Well, that is over. You better not come in there because he's not. He knows. But if you go into the store and say, I'm not going to talk to him before he's calm, quietly there, until I can brush his side. When I brush his side, I can move him from there to there and I brush the other side. That's what you are going to do. And that you have no space for doubt. You know. You know that is fine. Then you sit on your horse, you walk him in hand, and you sit on your horse, you walk. Well, you can do a square at the walk. Everybody can do a square at the walk. They go from one spot to another. If that doesn't work, you stop. Everybody can stop, or you should not be on top, okay? And then everybody can go from the other corner to the other corner, and the other corner to the other corner, and pretty soon you have a square. Well, everybody can walk with, with a square. And then you build up on what you know, and the next day you say, well, I can come in there, I can do my lounging fairly good, I'm going to get better, but I'm pretty good. I have a pretty good idea of my, my, my work in hand. Now I can do my walk on the square to the right and to the left. I have a pretty good control. I can stop, I can go places. I can do that. Well, the next day you come and you do that. And then you keep adding a little something every time that build up your confidence. And if you are confident, you are going to do a, maybe the little square of the trot that day, or maybe half a square at the trot. Something go wrong, you walk, you say, OK, sorry, something went wrong. I'm not sure what it is, but I know I can do it at the walk. Boom, 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 you do it at the walk. And then progressively, you do simple thing well, and everybody can do simple thing well. What is overwhelming is to sit down and say, oh my god, I have so many problems, I can't do a thing, and, and then I doubt. Therefore, if I doubt, I can't open the door and tell my horse to go into the corner, <laughs> which is wrong. Therefore, you have to, you have to uh, uh, very simply do the thing that you know how to do and stick to it. And if that doesn't work that day, well, you stop and you say, that's not going to go. I'm going to stay there until that is happening. And if that day, that's your lesson. That day is the relationship to bring there. If you start with the doubt, it's over.